Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I will teach you how to import videos with sound onto objects in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so here we have a TV, and you can download the TV in the link below for free. And then let's go back to Blender. Okay, so start off by selecting the object you want to add the video to, and then go into edit mode. And then we need to select the face that we're going to add the video to. And then press U to unwrap. And then drag the top right corner to add a new window. And let's go to the UV editor, remove the render result, and then we can open the video. So uh, click open. And then select the video that you want to import. And then let's go to the materials. Click on the plus sign to add a new material. Click new. And then assign the new material. And then let's select the emission shader. Click image texture. And then select the unwrapped video on the left side. And then set the number of frames to the length of the animation, which in this case is just 250 and then turn on auto refresh as well. Okay, so uh, let's go back to object mode and then see what it looks like in rendered view. And then let's select one of the later frames and as you can see, we have the video. And this works in EV as well. So if you switch to the EV render engine, you can see that the video still works. But for this renderer, I'm just going to use Cycles. Okay, so let's go back to Solid View. And if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. And then let's go to the Output Settings. Set the frame rate to 24 FPS. And for the file format, I like to set it to FFMPEG for uh, these types of videos with sound. And then set the uh, file format to uh, MP4. Set the output quality to perceptually lossless. And uh, then under audio, set the audio codec to MP3 so that we have sound. Okay, and that's how you render a video, but I'm just going to use PNGs because I will add the sound later. And then I'm going to uh, select a folder and then create a folder and then select that folder and give the animation a name and press enter. Okay, so let's do a uh, test render. So uh, number zero to look through the camera, then render and then render image. And after a few seconds, we have the render and then I'm just going to render out the animation. And uh, that's it for uh, this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll post more Blender tutorials very soon, so uh, thank you guys for watching and subscribe.